ladies and gentlemen good afternoon good afternoon this is free dive talk Filipinas, and we are live right now uh it's sunday june 14 june 14 uh 2020 and welcome again to free dive talk Filipinas. and it's already episode six yes at dapat palakpakan natin yan meron na tayong mga effects na ganito yeah okay Oh, ayan. Ayan, ladies and gentlemen. Nakikinig nyo ba? Nakikinig nyo ba yung mga effects natin? Okay. Alright, let's... Hey, guys. Uh, I'm so happy that uh, we reached this far. Uh, episode 6 that I have from all the previous uh, guest speakers that we had. The free dive instructors. Yung mga guests natin, the mga free dive in, uh, enthusiasts. Uh, from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, at sa mga uh, coming pa, maraming maraming salamat for imparting your knowledge to all the viewers of the Free Dive Talk Pilipinas. I know with this situation that uh, itong sa uh, COVID uh, crisis uh, this time, eh, medyo nabawasan yung ating mga leisure, yung mga ginagawa natin uh, sa buhay. Eh, but for some, uh, on this indoors, uh, sa situation nila ngayon sa mga places nila naka G, uh, M, MC, ME, MEGCQ na ba? Yan, tama ba yan? Modern na, uh, uh, pwede nang ano, pwede na yatang makapag, uh, punta sa ibang, uh, makapag, uh, gala na, no? So, with that, uh, so thankful, uh, pero sana the government could also consider uh diving na uh, nabibigyan ng uh, permit just like uh, sa swimming and other sports uh, binigyan naman nila ng permit but i uh, hope uh, diving will also be included uh, uh on those directive that uh, they will give permit no permission uh, kasi uh, tayo ay napakarami nating gustong magdagat because we miss the summer uh, the summer uh, time no supposedly so and dami dapat nating ginawa nung uh, March, April, May no it's already June rainy season na ngayon nga dito sa Davao it's, it's raining uh, because of meron yatang uh, uh, low pressure uh, but then again uh, we are hoping and yeah th though etong COVID crisis right now is medyo alam natin natatagal pa ito because there's no cure pa or there's no vaccine or something. But um, sana uh, because uh, our, our our passion is diving and, and even kahit kung anong mga sports natin, uh, makapag, uh, makakagawa pa rin tayo ng mga gusto natin. No? But we have to be, uh, ano na, Kumbaga, cautious with our health na. Kasi mahirap na na maano tayo sa ating mga uh, ma, 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 kumbaga, mahawa tayo sa sakit. No? Uh, the, 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 the cases are rising right now. No? I, I, I don't have the, the exact data but I guess umabot na ng ilang libo yun. But uh, we are praying for those people who are suffering for the, for the, uh, the disease and I hope makaka-recover. And I'm pretty sure uh, God will answer uh, all uh, these problems. No? So with that, once again, 
Uh, maraming maraming salamat for tuning in for this episode. And alam ko, mainit yung balik, balitaktaka natin ngayong hapon. It's because uh, we'll talk about the the uh, sa areas naman ng spur fishing, no? free dive and spur fishing. Okay? So maraming, mala- maraming salamat sa mga nanood. We have around 16,000 viewers right now. Palakpakan natin yung mga mga nandito ngayon. And this afternoon, yes, this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, eto na, uh, hindi ko napapatagalin pa. Uh, our guest speaker for this afternoon is, uh, yeah, um, isang mabuting kaibigan, isa napakabait, isa napakahumble na person and nakilala ko siya back uh, way back last year yeah when i went to bohol uh, for some ano tour and then when uh, nung pumunta rin kami during the the pdnc uh, nakasama ko siya for for a while dun, habang nagda-dive and then uh, ang dami kong kwento na, na, na nakinig sa kanya, ang daming mga, mga insights na binigay niya sa akin, niya sa amin, no? And uh, our guest speaker is uh, a free dive instructor under SSI uh, organization or company. And he also uh, teaching sa Free Dive Academy Panglao. I hope uh, I get it right. The free Dive Academy Panglao. And he is the co-founder together with John Mendoza. He's the co-founder of Dive Tabay. No, the, the, the one of the uh, mga una-unang free diving co- uh, community dito sa Philippines, no? Uh, specifically in Cebu uh, in the in the Visayas and Mindanao area. Uh, he's one of the co-founder uh, of Dive Tabay with John Mendoza. And eto na, ladies and gentlemen, di ko napapatagalin pa our guest speaker all the way live from uh Panglao tama ba nasa Panglao ba o nasa Tagbila basta all the way live from Bohol ladies and gentlemen palakpakan natin Mr. Edwin Castillon sir good after you ayan pila p side yeah no ayan Hello, sir Mr. Edwin good afternoon sa iyo ayan love 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 lahat sa lahat ng uh, free diving ano natin free diving uh, good afternoon po natin. sa lahat Yes. So, kumusta? Kumusta, Sir Edwin? Kumusta ang si Mr. Freediver Castillon and kumusta ang Bohol during your uh, COVID uh, etong crisis natin diyan? Kumusta naman? Okay naman po. Um, I think um, everyone is a little bit struggling uh, lalo na sa mga freedivers na gusto na magdagat, di ba? Tapos uh, sa side din ng mga nagtatrabaho, um, wala tayong tabaho ngayon. So medyo struggle. So actually, uh, lalong-lalo na dito sa Panglao, um, a lot of uh, workers, resort workers, um, resort, um, nagiging ano na, uh, nangingisda, nangingisda na ngayon uh, wow. in, in, in this time of crisis. So most of them... Um, uh, are now into spear fishing, specifically night spear fishing to catch uh, more uh, more fish. What do you think is your parang ano ba? Eto sir, uh, parang realization mo or parang take away itong sa nangyayari ngayon? Ano sa tingin mo? Um, does it parang give you a realiz- realization or learnings? Realizations, learnings. Oh, uh, um, sa COVID, because of COVID. Yeah, kailangan talaga ma-develop de- ma- yung self-reliance yun talaga. Mm. Mm. At saka, importante yung health natin, di ba? Pinaka-importante oh, yung health. health. Kasi lalong-lalo na yung ating uh, respiratory system, yung ating lungs. Kasi sa free Sama. dive, ito yung parang puhunan natin. You cannot dive kung sira na yung lungs mo. Wala oh. papasok langin. And it will be fatal kung eh, magkakaroon ka ng sakit na COVID, right? Tama po okay. yan. Mm. Mm. Ayun, may bell-bell. Mga takeaways natin yan. Uh, okay, <laughs> sir. 
<laughs> na na effects. Meron na tayong effects. Okay. Sir Edwin, di ko na papataglin pa. Uh, kindly introduce yourself para sa ating madlang people na nakikinig or nagbe-view ngayon. Uh, share your story to them. Take it away, sir. Okay. Magandang hapon po sa lahat. Uh, ako po si Edwin Castillon, uh, isang SSI freedive instructor dito po sa Bohol. Uh, nakabase po ako sa Bohol. Two years na po akong uh, freedive instructor. Tapos, uh, five years na din ako nag-practice ng spearfishing. Um, at isa po akong proud na registered fisher folk uh, since five years ago. Nagpaparehistro talaga po tayo sa <clears throat> uh, Bureau, Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic uh, Resources. So, um, uh, gusto ko po sanang i-share yung knowledge para sa mga mga freedivers uh, tungkol sa spearfishing at lalong-lalo na yung safety uh, tas mga issues concerning, of course, yung safety nga sa spearfishing. Uh, okay, thank you for that, uh, Sir Edwin. By the way, uh, okay, para sa ano natin, mga viewers, baka pwede mo naman i-share yung story mo on how you started uh, free diving. Okay. Okay. Um, as what you mentioned earlier, I was one of the co-founders or co-founding members of Dive the Buy. So we started out with John. If you guys watched uh, the streaming with uh, John Mendoza on the pilot episode of this uh, really amazing uh, talk show, no? Um, John Mendoza and I and uh, Doi, um, another freediver, uh, we were sort of uh, snorkeling then. We don't know about freediving yet. So this was way back uh, 2012, 2013. So uh, in Cebu, then we found out um, that there's actual lessons for freediving. Um, I took a course with Freedive um, HQ Philippines in Cebu, did my level one. Um, but before that, I had like a, a, a year of experience ano, in um, snorkeling slash freediving. So um, fast forward to several years, uh, 2016, um, I decided to go pro. So I trained to become an instructor, and uh, it was not that easy. It took me more than a year to finish my instructor course. I went over a lot of uh, challenges, so I can easily um, identify myself with my students who are kind of struggling. Actually, with most of the beginners, they, they undergo um, same or similar uh, difficulties as me. So I'm very happy now as an instructor. Um, and now, uh, since there's no work at the moment for free diving, I went back to uh, uh, spear fishing, which I was doing um, before I was, I, I decided to go pro. So, um, here I am now. I'm uh, practicing spear fishing again, uh, being self sustainable, um, and uh, seeing that there are many issues, uh, safety issues, and even fatalities. Really bad news uh, in our spear fishing community. Um, I just can't take it sitting down. You know, I, I want to share my knowledge to uh, spear fishers and as free divers also. Um, we're gonna have, uh, in fact, I did um, two workshops, uh, actual workshops no? uh, last year with the uh, spear fishers here in Bohol. So this is my kind of advocacy. Now uh, I train um, spear fishers with regards to safety protocols, uh, how to rescue someone, and um, what are the best uh, safe uh, practices in spear fishing. Um, I've also um, 
for the past few months, I've also conducted online uh, safety workshops since we're in lockdown. We can't uh, do it uh, in person. So I've, I also have an upcoming um, safety workshop with Spearfishing Philippines. Uh, this will be on Saturday. Uh, if you're a spear fisher, I would really, I highly recommend you to uh, uh, to watch this uh, and participate in the workshop. Thank you. Yes, thank you for that, uh, Sir Edwin. No? Okay, so with that, uh, shout out lang muna sa lahat ng mga free divers and mga spur free spear fishers friends uh, natin mga spiro friends natin all over the country from Luzon Visayas Mindanao no especially dyan sa uh, Visayas area sobrang dami din uh, ng mga spiros natin okay sir Edwin ganito lang i would just like to know um what is your take on spear fishing compared to the traditional fishing na ginagawa ng mga ng mga mangingisda ngayon like Ano ba sa Tagalog yung nagapukot? Ano ba yun? Uh, mm. oh. Net so, na yung gamit na yeah, yeah, net. Net fishing. So, what is your take on this, sir? Uh, why is it spur fishing is more, uh, tawag dito, uh, mas best way you practice siya com compared to the traditional fishing na ginagawa ngayon? Mm. Well, actually, no. Um, first and foremost, spear fishing is one of the ancient form of fishing. Um, nets came after spear fishing. So, on a single breath hold, our ancestors were able to catch fish, um, and uh, you know, uh, sumisisid sila and uh, catch fish using some type of rod or some uh, material they they uh, na, na, nagawa nila. So. Um, this has been passed on from generation to generation. In fact, um, spear fishing is um, a, a well-known tradition sa mga bajaos and uh, the sama in uh, Davao, right? Yes. Uh, Rich? Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm. Sige. So, okay. Mm. So, so um, the, the bajaos for generations... They practice spear fishing, and they they are I know um, they even uh, they their their body has adapted to I know uh, underwater. Um, their uh, some of their kids can see underwater without without any goggles. So um, so the point is spear fishing is uh, actually more uh, traditional than uh, catching with nets using nets. So now using nets, especially commercial fishing, um, um, uh, studies have found that um, commercial fishing here in the Philippines is not sustainable. Um, they encroach in municipal waters, uh, which this is kind of technical, but what's happening is um, the breeding ground Ano, uh, kina catch ng uh, commercial fishers, um, kinukuha nila lahat. And they're using uh, small eyed uh, nets. Well, hindi naman lahat, pero um, now nagka decline ng fish catch, kaya um, they're making the, the eyes of the nets smaller and smaller to catch uh, more and more fish. So, uh, as opposed to spear fishing, you know, with spear fishing, you see the fish that you're going to catch. Uh, tapos mamili ka if there is fish. So mamili ka tapos kunin mo. And then um, actually mahirap yung mag-catch ng fish using, uh, with spear fishing. Um, Mag-average siguro ako ng one or two fish if I'm lucky, you know. Um, a lot of days as in zero talaga. Yes, thank you for that, uh, Sir Edwin. No? So here, so makikita ninyo, um, marami tayong nababalitaan. Uh, I, for sure, ngayon parang hindi na ginagawa nila yung 
maraming uh, balita before no uh, eto mga tinatawag na dynamite fishing no uh, yeah. yun ang naka, nakakasira sa ating uh, mga coral reefs and dami na even here in uh, Davao Gulf uh, when when we went to other mga dive sites talagang sobrang sira na yung mga uh, coral reefs and then we asked the the uh, mga community doon kung bakit anong nangyari well before pala like 10 years ago prone sa dynamite fishing yung yung areas na yon so uh, i don't know uh, maybe you could share sir mga it will really take times and years and years to rehabilitate yung or ma-restore yung coral reef no if not talagang mamamatay ni siya forever di ba yes that's uh, really sad news um hmm. yung magagawa natin is you know help our enforcers report um ano pag uh, nangyari may maririnig tayong uh, dynamite fishing mm-hmm. because um uh, we need to have a participatory government even though maybe we get we get ano uh, parang walang feedback sa government or walang action it's still our duty as citizens to um you know to report this because this is our future we need to be we need to be uh sustainable um kasi with dynamite fishing we're destroying the reef yes the reefs destroyed yes. no fish so our children our children's children will not have fish in the future that is very true um uh, right now a uh, good thing here sa Davao uh we have this parang uh batas dito like uh starting june until september uh the Davao Davao Gulf is ano siya no fishing season siya so sin- talagang Close. sinasarado ng ng coast guard yung mm. Davao Gulf bawal mangisda so yung mga mangingisda natin pwede silang magfish during summer time like uh, january february march ganyan may but starting june uh yun daw yung time na nagbe-breeding yung mga fishes natin uh, yes, depende sa species, no? Um, so let's say, for example, sardines. Usually, mm. they, I know, they breed during the, I know, uh, colder season, starting August, September. Oh. Um, but yeah. Um, but um, what I, well, I also worked for Oceana before. It's a non-government organization. Um, we found out. Uh, not really. We found out. We. Uh, well, I when we do research, we do studies. So, um, um, close seasons. So, so, yung sinasabi mo, you close the the mm. Davao Gulf is it's the close season, uh, no fishing. Close no? season, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So this is really there are um, I know uh, certain species of fish na um, uh, breeding time nila, so they can uh, breed more. And outside of the Close season and during the open season, uh, then you can reap uh, the benefits of uh, of the close season. More fish, because hinayaan mo sila to breed. Right, that's good. And I would also like to congratulate yung mga uh, tawag dito yung mga organizations na nagsisimula ng mag-adapt ng mga sanctuary, ng mga fishing yes, yes. sanctuary, no? Apo, apo. Uh, Right now, siguro, here in Davao, dun sa dive spot na ano namin, dun sa Talikod Island, there is a around 2 kilometers na fishing sanctuary. Talagang uh, mayroong bantay dagat doon. No? Kapag ka, pupunta ka doon, magda-dive ka, huhulihin ka talaga. So, uh, I, I, I salute to those people who, who take care of our environment, especially yung sa ating mga coral reef. No? And, uh, mm. I know for sure when we get back on that dive site, uh, marami na siguro malalaking isda ang makikita namin and mas marami na siguro mga species na uh, maninirahan doon. Yes! Okay, sige, sir. Um, talking about free diving. Actually, I really don't have a parang a, 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 a wide idea of, of spur fishing kasi Though I tried spur fishing once, isang beses lang talaga with uh, mm. Imam Sir uh, Imam Gulisan. Uh, he's mm. a free diver spur fisher uh, dito sa Davao. Member, uh, he's a 
community leader ng Sama tribe dito sa Davao. And we joined him uh, last year, no? Doon sa yung pangingisda. Yeah. And it's amazing. Very uh, amazing experience. Uh, kakaiba siya uh, compared sa alam mo yung uh, mag regular free dive ka lang or recreational free dive lang. It's a very tama, different tama. experience. No? And yun pa, ang ginagawa nila, uh, in order for them to uh, go deep easily, meron silang tinatawag na babet or babet diving. Merong parang bakal na around 6 or 10 kilos na, na bakal. And then that's that, that's the thing that they use kapag ka uh, tawag ito, they go down, they just parang hahawakan lang nila yung bakal and then the, 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 the metal will drag them down as deep as, doon sila mag, uh, ano, uh, hindi na sila kailangan mag pa. Or, so, less less energy yung na exert mo and more more air ang meron ka pag, habang nandun ka sa ilalim. So, so uh, Sir Edwin, maybe you can share to us kasi siguro sa mga viewers natin dito, for those who are planning to uh, uh, to try no, baka mayroon dito gusto mag-try, mag-spurfish naman. Spurfishing is free dive. Free dive spurfishing, ha? Free dive spurfishing. Uh, maybe you can give tips on how to start, uh, how to start. spurfishing. Yeah. Or um, I think I'd, I'd describe um, uh, spearfishing no? uh, on breath hold. So just like with free diving, you go down on a single breath and then... Um, find a spot for you to land uh, tapos uh, because ano eh, kailangan mong maging silent underwater so uh, this is where uh, this is one of the difference between you know, free diving and spear fishing so in free diving um, you don't care if ano, mabilis yung pagbaba mo or um, nagtumbling tumbling ka sa ilalim so this doesn't work for uh, spear fishing. You need to be silent uh, because you need to catch fish uh, by surprise. So it's like ambush. So you go down, um, then wait for the fish to, I know, to get curious and be in a shooting range, and then you shoot the fish. Um, if there is no fish, then you can try to, I know, uh, maneuver yourself go maybe deeper if you still have a uh, no, uh, breath hold. So no catch, which is actually most of the time, you go up to the surface and still do your recovery breaths. That's how uh, spear fishing would go. All right. Thank you for that tips, uh, sir. Mm. And um, how about naman sa uh, mga basic na gears or kwan? Does... Uh, free diving fins, yung mga long fins natin, uh, kailangan ba siya? Or pwede na ba yun gamitin? And of course, you have to buy a, a spear gun, di ba? So, yeah, how about the gears? Mm. Um, yes, yeah, so mga traditional na spear, ang ginagamit nila is, ano, tinatawag na yapak or yung, yung PVC made or plywood made na round, ano, um, round na flippers. I think you guys must have seen this with your local bankeros. Kung yes. mag-island hopping kayo. Yeah. So, um, karamihan sa kanila, uh, the traditional ones use these ano, flippers. Uh, ano, yung PVC or uh, plywood type na ano, uh, yapak. No? So, sa now, um, medyo modern na tayo ngayon. So, we... Uh, nag evolutionize na din yung spear fishing. We have uh, better, more accurate guns for, you know, for um, fish na medyo mahirap hulihin. Siguro, um, siguro, or longer range of guns. Um, well, yung gear would comprise of, um, of course, yung freediving gear mo, um, fins, um, na snorkel, uh, weight belt, to importante to, so that uh, you sink when and you don't move at all when you're on the bottom, no? 
um, um, of course, the spear gun, and then some sort of um, floating device, especially kailangan floating device or meron kang body na um, uh, makapag-signal na there's diving, there's someone diving around kasi um, there could be boat traffic in your area. So, um, I would I would uh, consider yung floating device as a parang signal na um, na may diving na nagaganap dyan sa lugar as a, as a basic ano, uh, uh, gear for spear fishing. Okay. So, ayun na. Siguro marami na nag-iisip ngayon na, uy, nako curious yung pa- paano ba magsimula sa uh, spear fishing. Well, uh, talking about itong the relation of uh, free diving or breath hold uh, and the spur fishing uh, kasi importante natin malaman no the basics pa rin uh, of free diving kailangan pa rin i-apply so sir edwin uh, maybe you can share to them the basics of breath holding and siguro sort of equalizations na rin kung at least they know how to uh, they will be prepared if ever they will uh, uh, gusto lang subukan yung uh, spur fishing. Ah, I think um, most of the viewers here are already existing free divers. Mm. Um, they can already go down and uh, equalize. Um, these are the basic skills, and um, um, because with spear fishing, it's it's it uh, free diving is a requirement. Of course, you cannot. You cannot spearfish if you don't know how to um, to free dive. You know, um, if you really want to have a solid foundation, uh, it's best to uh, enroll in a course, have a professional guide you through the basics of free diving. And then once you, you you're interested in spearfishing, um, you can you can go with other um, spear fishers. We have a lot of groups here in the Philippines. Um, and uh, that's what we're campaigning on. Uh, spear fishing groups here would um, would have some standards for safety and uh, uh, yeah, uh, proper proper you know uh, spear fishing protocols and uh, also also equally important, uh, you know, uh, uh, the conservation, ocean conservation, uh, because. Um, if we don't conserve the you know the seas wala tayong makukuhang isda if we if um if we don't know how to you know to protect it all right actually uh you can ask what i have said a while ago um i have parang small knowledge lang when it comes to spear fishing no um, no i am about to i know i re- am about to buy a spear gun sana last year sa, <laughs> sa friend ko kasi binibenta niya yung spear gun niya kasi hindi na siya tawag dito uh, mag uh, spear fishing but uh, then again medyo nagdadalawang isip ako kasi on the island that we are used to dive wala talagang isda ba eh as in wala talaga sa i mean the, the fishes there are so small lang sobrang liliit lang and sabi ko parang useless ang mag spear ang mag spear fishing dito na even if you dive below 20 meters or or, or at, at that depth talagang maliliit no compared to your area in Bohol even in Alexis or even in in sa, sa Napaling wow grabe mm. 1 meter, 2 meters lang ang yung mga isda doon. Sobrang lalaki na. <laughs> Sobrang, alam mo yung parang true. isang kilo na yata to. So, parang yeah. alaki. So, talaga, uh, but, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, kapag ka, uh, ma-okay na lahat. I really wanted to, uh, also to, to again, get back to spur fishing. I mean, and have a proper education. Okay, sir, ganito, was there any uh, specifications? Kunyari, mag fish ka, is there any specific size sa isda? Meron bang rules na kapag ka, ano ba yan, kung maliit ang huli, ang makuha mo, uh, bawal? Or ano yung mga bawal, like, 
specific sizes of the fishes na ano or is there any specific na uh, ano ba uh, isang isda na di mo pwedeng hulihin or things like that yes this is really good question no? so that um, uh, malaman din ng other spear fishers na um, meron tayong mga protected species or uh, mga bawal hulihin na isda so uh, if you know we have a national law which is the fisheries the, the fisheries code of the philippines um, which is enforceable uh, sa buong bansa and then we also have specific um a local government unit um uh what do call this laws or uh, ordinances na nagbabawal um sa kanikanilang jurisdiction kunyari yung Cebu uh, they have certain uh, fish na pinagbabawalan nila na hindi naman applicable sa uh, buong bansa. So, uh, first, I'll talk about uh, the national law. Uh, what are the fish, fishes na hindi pwede huliin? So, yung, yung um, number one are, of course, critically endangered fish. Um, na nakalista sa, nakalimutan ko yung um, listahan yun. I think it was CITES, uh, CITES 1 and 2. So, nakalista doon na uh, yung mga endangered na fish na bawal huliin is first is in Napoleon Ras, uh, Mameng, uh, I think in our local language. Um, and then um, some type of sharks like the great white shark uh, and uh, the manta ray. So, bawal tong hulihin. So, uh, I can't remember all. I think it's less than five um, types of fish na pinagbawalan na endangered. Tapos, isa pa, may isa pang type of fish na hindi endangered, pero bawal huliin, which is um, ano, uh, sabalo in Tagalog, which is awa in Visaya, or the milkfish, bangus. So, this is a breeder uh, fish na pinagbawalan ng national government na hulihin. So, um, malaki yung ano, um, penalty nito. So, if mahuli ka, uh, it's, it's half million. No? Uh, if you're caught uh, with, with, uh, with sabalo or the milkfish bangus. Um, Local ordinance sa uh, Cebu province, they banned all types of uh, sharks. Uh, sharks, rays, and skates. So, um, in other parts of the country, you can catch ano, um, blue spotted stingray. Ito yung um, usually on the, on the ano, sa sand, nakastay. Na... Um, uh, maganda siya na para pa, para siyang ano ray din I uh, well as actually a uh, ray um, blue spotted so may mga blue spots um, medyo brown siya yung yung color niya tapos may blue spots sa likod so if you're in Cebu you cannot catch the, catch this uh, this uh, ano uh, yung sa Bisaya tawag nito ano eh um I forgot the name in, in Visaya, but it's this is a blue spotted uh, stingray. So I don't know if other I know, uh, ordinances in other uh, localities, other provinces, cities, or towns, they may have a certain type of uh, prohibitions. Uh, there are, there's also, um, as what you've mentioned, na merong close season sa ano sa uh, Davao Gulf so bawal uh, manghuli ng isda uh, in a certain and it's close season here in ano Panglao we also have an ordinance um, na nagbabawal na maghuli ng uh, rabbit fish uh, rabbit fish during their um, spawning season oh. they spawn yeah um, i think 3 Three to three days after new moon, three days after new moon, up to eight days. So you cannot catch bawal. rabbit fish. Mm -hmm. Bawal. Uh, 
Wow. Galing, no? Pero it's sad to say, uh, kung pupunta ka sa mga market, no? Sa mga palengke, nandun pa rin. Mayroon pa rin nagbebenta. And, and, and hopefully, uh, the government could uh, make an actions on that, no? Kasi, yun nga, there's an ordinance so we need to implement kasi uh, we have to save also this uh, species, no? Itong mga istan to. Mm. Okay. So, uh, mm. Yes, we have some few questions here from our viewers, but uh, maybe uh, later na lang natin basahin because we will go directly to our uh, main uh, topic this uh, afternoon. Okay, sir, um, in our caption dun sa ating, uh, ano natin, actually, what we are concerned right now is the uh, the safety of our spiros. Yes. Even the beginners, the intermediate, the advanced, or the masters na mga spiros. Kasi sabi nga nila, you'll never know what will happen kapag ka nasa dagat ka. Right? Yeah. So, that's true. since you are a, a pro freediver and also uh, an advocate of uh, safety, to especially sa ating mga spiros, uh, we would like to know now, sir, um, from your point of view, what will be... Uh, Ano ba? Uh, the best practice for us to be safe uh, kapag ka, uh, nagsusperfish ta, considering uh, we heard about a lot of news uh, even uh, last year nababasa ko sa social media uh, even in the news no, marami tayong nakikita na matay recently lang mayroon na namang namatay na Spiro so eto talaga yung parang main concern uh, right now. Um, yes, yes. Yeah, so sir, maybe you can share to us the best practice dapat nagagawin para tayo ay maging safe na mag, yes. pag, uh, mag-spurfish. Alright. Um, we really think, I don't know, um, you, Richie, and uh, this platform, um, uh, Spearfishing Philippines try to reach out. Uh, we're looking for um platforms all over uh, online um, as of now ha, to I know to we need to we need to make an aggressive campaign for safety for spear fishing because during this lockdown um, there are, um, fishing is allowed uh, you can go out and fish so spear fishing is fishing so you're allowed to spear fish um, since uh, many spearos are don't have work right now so we can only you know uh, spear fish um and many uh, workers in the dive industry in the tourism industry uh, also shifted to spear fishing um and um this has caused you know uh, uh this there are a lot of tragedies that happened um in the past few months this month alone, we had uh, we were able to document three uh, fatalities, no, um, and uh, one one diver, one di- one death is more than enough, you know, because uh, you know, we value everyone's life. So, um, <clears throat> the number one. Um, I would say guideline would be, of course, to everyone knows this. Spear fishers knows this. Spearos knows this. But this is the most, I know, uh, most um, violated rule, which is you never spear fish alone. You never free dive alone. You never spear fish alone. Um, even though uh, you have a body, pero pag malayo yung body, which actually nangyari sa, in a lot of cases, no? There are uh, fatalities na even though meron silang body, um, uh, may nangyari pa rin. Masama. So, um, this happened, I think mo- most of the ano, uh, victims are relatively new to spear fishing. So, um, they're not yet attuned to their ano, to their uh, to the signals of the body na kailangan ng umakyat, wala ka ng oxygen. Kasi first and foremost, wala tayong 
uh, wala wala tayong ano um, indicator na we're low on oxygen wala tayong indicator sa physiology sa uh, natin as human beings uh, the only indicator we have na uh, we should come up is our ano um, urge to breathe yung yung parang uh, yung sabisaya parang uh, um, so the urge to breathe is your should be your signal to come up so um, unfortunately in spear fishing you you want to come up but then there's a fish that will arrive ano nakita mo tapos time pa rin tapos matagal ano or siguro let's say you, you caught a fish and then pumasok sa loob ng ano ng, ng cave or ng uh, uh, or lumalim so you have to go and get the fish so there really there are a lot of temptations when you're down there so um i think your number one priority what you should have in your mind is that no no fish is worth your life so um it's more of ano eh, uh, discipline you have to discipline yourself uh, if you if you feel the urge to breathe you have to come up simple as that okay what is the ano, yung importance ng dive body naman kasi uh, i don't know i just i just saw some videos that there are a lot of uh spiros that uh, nangingisda na sila lang mag-isa no and um Riga, um was it really important that uh, kailangan yung dive body nila is marunong din na uh, mag free dive or pag dive on breath hold um yes this is this is ano um uh, actually depende rin yun sa ano eh, sa so uh, how um do you spearfish for for food for for or do you want to sell it so um i would really recommend na you need to have a buddy na similar level as yours na who can rescue you in case something happens if you black out if you go to you know if let's say if you went to 20 meters and then you pass out there, which actually happened to one of the fatalities, no, na, he went to 20 meters and his body cannot um, uh, rescue him, cannot dive to his depth. So, uh, yan. so however, um, this is impractical. Uh, I admit mm. I'm a spiro myself. This is impractical to have a body because unang-una, uh, mag, magkaiba yung yung ano yung yung technique mo or uh, how do you fish or so ito yung dire- direction ko tapos yung isa doon yung direction niya so medyo mahirap tong ganito so that's why um i think um you need to build your experience first um you have to uh wag mag wag magmadali to you know to go down deeper uh, to stay longer wag mag magmadali maybe you can do increments uh, if you have a well i don't think most spear fishers have i know a dive computer but um if you think that um you're you already want to come up for air you really have to come up for air um if you feel i know yung contractions this is a sure sign that you're on the way uh, to your ano na, to your uh, limit so um, if you're having contractions and then you're fighting fish or you're still going deeper that could pose a serious issue um, I, I I can actually explain this more if you participate in our um, yes, in yes. our uh, yeah safety workshop I'll I will describe how what happens to your body as you ascend from depth is entering the 10 meters to zero meters, um, the change of uh, pressure would actually um, lower your sort of bring down your O2 level. 
no? and the uh, mm-hmm. low O2 level hypoxia would lead to blackout. Okay, wow. Galig. Ay, uh, please tayo nga, uh, tayo. May mga tips. Sorry, sige, ganito. Segway question lang. Uh, so far sa experience mo, ano yung pinaka mabigat o malaking fish na nakuha mo? Ilang kilos? Ang pinaka tarang <laughs> at least alam, alam namin. Mm. Sa buong okay. Spurt, so, uh, this, um, uh, ano, um, yeah, I, I'm kind of, ano, shy. So, hey, you go, uh, no, no, don't be about, shy. Ano. <laughs> But yeah, um, you know, um, I think fish are, you know, um, it doesn't matter the, the type of fish. If you caught mm. a big fish or uh, you caught a small fish, um, that's why I, I really find it, I know, uh, I find it difficult for me to sell my fish. Oh, uh, I cannot expression. sell it for, let's say, even like like in the market, it's just like, what, 250 per kilo. And uh, yeah, I have a so fish that I spent like a minute. And, yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. medyo hindi siya, hindi comparable yung price. Sa, mm-hmm. So, I really think that um, um, malaking salute sa mga mga spirals no who who catch fish for living yeah um mm. and for their own sustenance especially especially now yes. uh in this mm. crisis uh it's really difficult to look for money so it's better to source our food you know um you know you can plant and uh well you can fish and yes this is spear fishing um and if you have the skills for it Uh, salute. Yeah. Okay. Sir, bump lang natin. Meron kasi tayo uh, uh, viewers natin. Si Sir Ian Lister E. Sir Villon. Meron siyang addition. He would like to uh, share his thoughts. Uh, he said here, in addition to this talk, most of the cases of spear-related deaths are during retrieving their catch fish. Most likely, if they uh, caught bigger or their line get uh, entangled. So what What are the basic things to do? First, the important thing is to recover on the surface and relax. Ayun naman talaga ang pinaka-importante doon. Relaxation. Always think that there's no fish or gear worthy of your life. Kahit gaano pa kamahal yung uh, tawag dito, yung iyong uh, gears, uh, it will never save you. But, uh, yun nga, Uh, pinaka-importante, you have to be cautious of what you are doing. Okay? Stay relaxed. Thank you for for sharing your thoughts, Sir Ayan uh, Sir Villon. One of uh, isa sa mga well-known uh, Spiros natin from, saan ba si Sir Ayan, Sir? Taga saan ba si Sir Ayan? Uh, he's from Bohol as well. Ah, Bohol. Bohol din. Bohol. Yeah, but And he's also, based in Batangas now. Ah, he's based in Batangas. And one of the isa sa mga sikat na spur fisher in Bohol is Si Sir e- AJ, di ba? AJ, shout out, AJ. Oh, shout out <laughs> si Sir AJ. Yeah. I haven't met him but uh, uh, I've heard uh, sobrang galing niya ang lalaki ng mga isda na nakukuha niya. Anyway, so uh, Sir Edwin, thank you for that sharing. no? And maybe we are do we have to open for uh, questions now? We have question sure, here. Sure. Yeah, we have question here from Sir John Uh, idol Bartasan yung ating uh, mm. ano regular <laughs> ano kasama ko dito he's from Dive Tabay Davao at uh, kasama ko dito sa Davao cool. okay uh, hi bro Lakbay thanks for sharing your thoughts with us if I may ask do you use a certain ratio of your weights when you spur fish like example 1 kilogram of weight per 1 mm of thickness sa wetsuit also how thick of the neoprene suit would you suggest for Spiros? Thanks and stay safe, Idol. Regards to uh, Sir Ayan. Uy! Ayan, si Sir Ayan. <laughs> and all the guys oh. in Bohol. Sige, Sir. Okay. Ano yung pa- this this ano? is a good question, no? The waiting system for spear fishing. So, um, this is one of the controversial issues, issue for spear fishing kasi we overweight ourselves. Um, unlike in Free diving, where uh, dapat usually within 
10 meters, you're neutrally buoyant. So, uh, so spear fishing, um, you need to be silent. Eh? So that means no kicking, no extra movement. So there are many uh, spiros na ano they uh, they just do one kick and they go down free fall free fall na yon. So walang walang ratio ratio to mahirap yung ratio ratio to the wetsuit no to answer the question. So it really boils down to your buoyancy. So of course the wetsuit helps, but the bigger ano the bigger issues uh, the bigger factor is the lungs your lung capacity. So, well, it's difficult to um, check our lung volume. So, it's more like, ano na, um, uh, tansha, tansha. So, you just, ano, um, check if you're, with, for, for me, uh, as a Spiro, I would, um, I need to be negatively buoyant at, ano, uh, I dive to around 10 meters. So usually around 5 meters. Dapat negatively buoyant na ako nun. Okay. Um, na mute. Na mute, Rich. Sorry, sorry. Oh, bro. Uh, well, I'm looking for questions. Maybe you can shout out muna sa mga friends mo dyan sa Buhol and the entire mga viewers na mga friends mo. Mm. So, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> shout out sa mga Spiros. Um, oh, yeah. Itong Anit Perlin. Itong brother. Yeah, Tita Perlin. Kamusta? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eto bro, mayroon tayong question from Sir Elinil Biera. Here. If ever mm. I will be going to the province to go spearfishing, will I be allowed to bring the spear gun in the airport? Will there be any uh, issue? Yeah, that's a good question. No? I, I, mm. I haven't uh, traveled by, by air, pa, so I, I don't know. I know. But I'm interested to know the answer as well. Hmm. Sorry, I can't. I don't know. Because for for us the free free divers, madalila. Because we like we we have. Kung meron kang feeding bag, we just have to declare the to the tawag dito the counter that this is a feed. So ganon. But for spur uh, spur fishing, parang I I really don't have any idea. Pero kailangan ba ng permit yon? Base, uh, have you ever have you ever traveled na bringing your uh, spear gun? Yes, uh, barco, but uh, no papers. Oh, no papers. So okay, ka sa barco, no. Oh, so we have to. Siguro may we, we, we will ask uh, some of our friends there or kung baka merong naka naka experience jan. Oi, si Tito Kim Padron, mm. yeah, si Tito Kim, mara baka. Eto para acting mm. uh, <laughs> nag ano to, nagta travel to pumupunta ng Davao bring his uh, gears. Maybe sir, you can maybe you can sir your uh, share your experience in traveling. Kasi it's good to travel also, no? I uh, bring your equipments to other places. Uh siguro walang problema kung land travel or sa boat, but sa aeroplano no ah si si sir no permit needed. Uh, are you mm. talking about ano? Sa airplane ba? Uh, mm. Sir Kim, Kim okay lang ba? Okay lang ba siya dalhin kahit uh, ano, sa, sa aeroplano? Mm. Ah, here. We have also answer from Sir Ayat. It's okay to travel your gears on the airport as long as you secure it and put it. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yes. Oh, sabi ni Sir uh, Kim. Pwede daw. Pwede. Okay. Mm. Yes, we have another question here from Sir Vince uh, Vince Patrick. Oi, ito from Davao to, but I haven't met him. Sir Vince Patrick Vicente, I know you're from Davao, but I haven't met you in person. Uh, hopefully, pagka mag -ano dive tayo. Okay, wag spear gun isabi, declare a fishing equipment lang yan, and proper or hard case. or Oh, that's good, that's good. Thank you. Meron namang mga hard case. Uh, okay, ito pa. Uh, here, ito question. 
from Wazu Wakai. Pwede po pala malaman preferred hunting style nyo and stalking pointers. Sige, medyo ano to? Medyo uh, wala akong ideas. Sige, sir, take it away. Baka ma-share. Uh, yes, um, I, I, I always go for ambush, aspeto. I think um, there are really good YouTubers out there uh, sa YouTube. Um, you can, um, I, I also research on my own. Uh, I also watch I know, YouTube videos, learn more from them. But yeah, uh, I, I usually just do ambush style. Okay, ayan. So sa mahilig mag-ambush dyan, uh, okay lang mang ambush ng uh, isda, wag lang sa babae. <laughs> <laughs> Gusto ko mag-ambush dyan sa alona. Uh, ang daming mga, <laughs> mga chicks dyan. Sa, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyways, okay. Here, meron ding si Sir Jackie Jose. I, I think he's uh, he's also a spur fisher. Using, was this, uh, a sport tube is a plus. Label it as a fishing equipment. Don't use spear gun. Yeah, okay, for those who are, uh, who'd like to travel, no, via air, yeah, you have to, ano talaga, uh, marami tayong dapat gawin, or, ano ba, uh, Maybe you can ask na lang these people from this spur fishing community, no, on how to uh, ano bang gagawin para kapag kay ay ta travel kayo kasi sa free diving kasi yeah, minsan uh, we we also have experiences that uh, the airlines would not allow the the fins uh, hand, carry. To, uh, hand carry. Pero kasi ang ginagawa ko do have to share it. Baka, <laughs> baka ma-foul tayo. Basta, kumbaga, kanya-kanyang technique na lang yan. You just have to... <laughs> discuss it na lang. <laughs> yeah, discuss it na lang. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ano pa ba may... Wait. We have to check. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah. Okay, sir. Uh, since wala na tayong mga questions dito, but I know you imparted a lot of things uh, this afternoon uh, for the show. Eh, maybe you uh, you can promote again your your uh, show, mm. upcoming show next week, no? So, Sir Edwin, uh, take it yes, away. Yes, workshop. Yes, we have a safety workshop um, with um, Spear Fishing Philippines this Saturday, 6 p.m. So... I think this is also going to be um, streamed online. It's free to uh, to watch. Um, this we'll be talking about advanced um, uh, physiology and uh, knowledge in, in free diving. So beginners, novice, um, free diving practitioners are are more than welcome. No, uh, so you can understand more. Um, about uh, the the science behind you know free diving especially uh blackout why does it happen when does it happen how do we prevent that and of course we're gonna have um uh, for spear fishing we need to come up with guidelines uh, how to practice safe uh spear fishing Okay, thank you for that. Uh, sir, so far mm -hmm. ngayon sa spur fishing community, gaano na ba karami? I mean, like, uh, exempted na natin yung mga tribe na spur fishers. About mm -hmm. itong mga uh, modern spur fishers ngayon, marami na ba? Sobrang laki na ba ng community? Yes, uh, actually thousands across the, no, the nation. There are Ooh, many uh, from uh, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Um, we have big groups, no, so spear fishing mm -hmm. community here in the Philippines. All right, uh, that's good. Okay, we have one last question. Ito, uh, my friend, my co Ida Tree, you know, <laughs> during my Ida Tree from Christian Templado Tan from Jensen. From Jensen, because ito, Jensen, sobrang maganda din mag fishing dyan, no? Hi guys, how deep is deep for spear fishing, or in other words, how what depth do spear? Uh, spur fishers usually dive for a descent dive. Mm, so a decent dive here. Um, actually, I would say 20, 25 um, meters. Uh, but I know it's it's always uh, spear fishing, fishing in general 
if you're lucky, you're you're lucky. If it's your day, it's your day. Uh, everyone knows this in spear fishing. You can catch a big fish at three meters, even at surface. Uh, I, I I I can catch. I caught a big fish at what five meters, uh, like fifteen kilos. You know. Wow. But uh, yeah. Uh, but if you go, yeah, if you go deeper, let's say. 20, 25 meters. So, well, there are different types of fish. Uh, general, there are two general categories for fish. So you have pelagic and the reef fish. So the pelagic fish, um, they they like to go anywhere from zero meters to whatever depth, you know, like, um, like dog tooth tunas, they go 30, 40 meters. You can catch them there. Um, most reef fish, they stay between you know, uh, 15 meters, 25 meters. You can see a decent sized fish, something like three, three kilos like this. Um, but if you want three really big um, like groupers, like uh, siguro nakita nyo um, sa mga post ni Cesar, sa Yes, si Idor si Cesar. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, sa Mualboa. So, his personal best, he went to 37, you know, and wow. uh, Grabe, uh, 37 no? meters. Yeah, that's really crazy depth for his oh, fish. Crazy. Oh, and then he's getting really big fish. It's more than 10 kilos. It's really, so um, I think he's, uh, Yam or uh, Cesar would would be the best person to answer this uh, question because he goes really deep. And also AJ Arbutante from... Yeah, we, we, we will we will invite them for a part two. Kasi yeah. hindi enough yung ating one hour show for this uh, afternoon. No? So we will be having a part two and we will invite more uh, experienced freediver spiros. No? Uh, and then we also have, ito bump ko lang, uh, merong addition inside si uh, Sir AJ Arbutante. Ayan na si Idol. Mm. Well, it depends on the spot and type of fish. Most of the pelagics pumupunta sa mababaw eh, na, area, uh, na area to hunt. Ayun. Ayan. Yeah. May idea na. Good, good. Para na-excite na ako mag-spur fish. Uh, magpapaturo <laughs> na muna ako. <laughs> okay. Siguro. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, maybe kasi wala na tayong ano, well, I guess there's no more questions here. Uh, and Siguro naman na uh, na share na natin yung pinaka importante mga importante nga uh, uh, insights no for spur fishing. Any message to our viewers, uh, uh, Sir Edwin, before we will end up the program? Mm. Okay. Um, so I'd like to address to um, spear fishers and also to um, people who are interested in spear fishing, free divers in general. Um, it's fun uh, and, and it's it's fulfilling. Spear fishing is fulfilling because you catch your own food, especially if you uh, prepare it and cook it yourself. Um, this is, uh, I think, uh, this is uh, the basic way and actually the sustainable way to live. Um, and um, uh, the number one priority should be your own life. Because um, even though you'd say, ah, I think I can do this, but you know, if something happens, it's not you who's going to suffer. Maybe you suffer for a few seconds if you black out, or you don't even suffer because if you black out and then you drown, you're unconscious. But the people around you, your family, um, they want you home. They want you back. So I encourage spirit fishers to observe to really know, uh, dive within your limit. And uh, to fellow free divers and especially instructors, I hope that uh, we can share our knowledge to uh, Spiros because um, a lot of Spiros here in the Philippines don't have Facebook or they have Facebook, but they don't have uh, access to knowledge about uh, free diving. So if you have even... You know, if you have uh, good knowledge for the physiology of free diving, why blackout happens, or even uh, how to rescue someone, and uh, why it is important not to dive alone, uh, especially for spiros who spearfish alone, 
and uh, who dive deep and who stay long. So I think it's uh, important for us to, it will be our responsibility to share our knowledge to these, uh, to the people, uh, to the Spiros. Thank you. Yes. Maraming maraming salamat, Sir Edwin. Yes. Okay. So uh, with that, guys, uh, I hope, no, I, I'm for sure marami kayong natutunan for this uh, episode 6 uh, with uh, uh, Sir Edwin Castillon and Uh, sir, do you want to say shout out sa mga friends natin? Baka friends, <laughs> kani, para oh. basig mang luod ni, basig mang luod ni. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Pero na ako mabasa ng tanan pero um, yeah. uh, guys, thank you very much for your support, for watching and uh, I really hope that um, you uh, na assimilate uh, some knowledge on 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 free diving and spear fishing. And uh, you can apply this in your life. Um, I'm really happy and thankful sa mga, uh, mga fellow Spiros who are on right now. Um, people from Mindanao. Um, yes. Who, uh, yeah. Um, mga nakajoin ako competitions before. Um, they're on here. And it's from Spearfishing Philippines. From Mamana Tabay. Thank oh, you. Mamana thank Tabay. You. Oh. And um, yeah, and uh, spear fishing team Bohol. Um, yeah, and uh, there I think there are many of uh, Spiros online right now watching. Um, Oy, thank you so much for the support. Yeah. Yes, 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 mm. yes, yes, yes. Maraming salamat sa inyo. And uh, yun nga, oh, just want to before we will end, para walang yeah. ano, para walang tawag dito. Uh, Sabi, mang luod sa, sa Tagalog. Okay. I would like to say shoutouts to, eto, isa-isahin ko hanggat sa kaya si Ma'am Entia, Danly, Kim Padron, Idol. Uh, nagkita, may, nagkita tayo dito sa Davao last December. Sir AJ Arbotanto, uh, yan, uh, thank you for tuning in, sir. Sir Wazu Wakai from Batanes. Wow! We all the way from Batanes. We have Pading Intia, Keith, Sebastian, Anore, We have uh, Christian Templado Tan from uh, Jensen, Jackie Suse, sir, mayong hapon. Uh, sir, Ian Lester Servillon from Batangas, Buhol, Batangas. We have also Vince Patrick Vicente and Sir John Bartazan, Henji Tingkang Dakalos, uh, Sir Bang Dumalos, from Sawum, Freedivers. Uh, they just have their... Uh, yung kanilang live stream kanina sa New Week Sunday. Congratulations mm-hmm. sa inyo. Miss Rawi, Jun, uh, everybody in the free diving and the spur fishing community who are tuning in right now, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Ah, ito pa, si Miss Pinakaunang nag-view, si Miss Ike Orbiso. Ike Damalia Orbiso, maraming salamat sa inyo. And Miss Ellen, uh, Sir Elinil Viera and Tini Joy Fernandez. Thank you guys for tuning in in uh, this evening's uh, uh, episode and I know for sure with 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 the with the knowledge of uh, uh, Sir Edwin uh, marami kayong natutunan especially uh, sa safety no uh, uh, we do hope that uh, sana uh, mabawasan na yung incidents na nangyayari sa mga spear fishers and yeah hopefully all those uh, yung mga Uh, free diving friends natin na merong knowledge naman about free diving no maybe if meron kayo mga kakilalang mga spiros maybe you can share no maybe even just a bit of an information for safety talaga kasi yun na nga sabi nga ni Sir Edwin uh, not everybody has the access to to learning about uh, about breath hold diving no and spear fishing kasi hindi naman lahat may internet especially lalong-lalo na yung mga uh, mga brothers and sisters natin ng mga bajaw. No? Kaya, kasi yun ang parang talagang uh, source of living nila. Eh, no? So, thank you for that, Sir Edwin. Mabuhay ka. Saludo sa'yo, Sir. Yes, shout out pala. Thank you so much, Richie. Oh. Shout out sa, eto, hindi ko talaga pwedeng i-miss ito. Si Sir Jake Alejandre from Free Dive PH. Maraming malawat, maraming salamat sa'yo, Sir, for for uh, for your uh, tawag dito. 
uh, referring uh, Sir Edwin Castellon no, as our guest speaker. And Sir, abang-abang, ikaw yung susunod natin na i guest. Ano pa daw, na, medyo nag, nag-heal muna si Sir Jake sa kanyang operation si teeth niya. Uh, And shout out also to Miss Divine. Yeah, sa yang sa kanyang girlfriend. Partner. We have also have uh, what is was this Ronnie Geologio and sa lahat. Sir Chucky Myers leaders for in Zamboanga. Mm. Salamat sa inyo. Sir Edwin, good luck to your show next week. Uh, aabangan ko 'yan and uh, uh, hopefully invite mo rin ako and I would I would like to know more about Uh, uh, about for, uh, spur fishing. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, mabuhay ka and stay safe and God bless sa inyong lahat dyan sa Bohol and sa lahat ng mga Spiros natin na uh, mga friends, mga, mga, mga kapatid natin na Spiros. Mabuhay kayo, sir. Thank you very much. God bless. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Well, it's a long talk with uh, uh, Sir Edwin Castillon. Uh, Uh, talking about square fishing, and I know you have a lot of takeaways for this uh, for that topic, no? And even me, kasi ako nakapag spearfish na ako isang beses lang talaga but uh, having this uh, uh, episode right now, uh, nadagdagan yung knowledge ko about square fishing, and yeah, maybe someday kapag ka okay na ang lahat, uh, makapagdagat na, I would love to try it again. Uh, for, uh, for fishing and also shout out sa lahat ng mga free diving uh, uh, enthusiasts sa mga free diving groups sa buong Pilipinas from uh, uh, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao uh, shout out sa free diving bodies uh, free diving bodies uh, uh, app niya PH uh, ano pa ba uh, no limits free diving we have also in, in the Visayas area we have Sawum free divers dive tabay And uh, from the Iloilo Freedivers, Domagete, Wet Snipers. Ayan, I know, uh, malaki din yung kanilang, uh, kanilang uh, tawag dito. Community dyan ng mga Spiros. Also, uh, the dive groups here in, the free dive groups here in Mindanao. Uh, we have uh, Dive Tabay, Boho, I don't know, Iligan, uh, CDO, Zamboanga. And also from Jensen Group, we have the Oanos, the uh, Underwater Nomads. Lahat, sa lahat ng mga free diving uh, uh, groups in, uh, in uh, sa entire country natin. Maraming salamat sa inyo for tuning in. Shoutouts to Sir Chucky Myers Lidres. Sir, good evening. Maying gabi sa inyo ha. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. Diba? So with that, guys, uh, we have to wrap up kasi it's already uh, time na. But hopefully, we still have to tune in to our next episode. No? Uh, uh, sana uh, nandun pa rin kayo for our next episode episode 7 na tayo yeah so maraming salamat stay safe and uh, stay healthy uh, wag lumabas <laughs> pagbawal wag lumabas or kung dapat kung talagang uh, kailangan uh, dun lang tayo lalabas para hindi tayo mahaba kagaya ko inuubo na ako eh so, hindi na mas covid to but you know guys Uh, we have to be uh, stay safe and be healthy this time. Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode and God bless sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay. <music>